Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we are going to look at the auto scaling group. All right. So in the previous video we saw how to use the managed instance group. So we're going to be doing the same thing this time in this video, but we're going to use the auto scaling feature. All right. So um, I've logged into my Jasmine open source Google Cloud account, and if I go to Compute Engine Instance Group, and um, I've deleted the instance group from the previous video so we need to start everything from scratch so as you know for an instance group to know how to what to launch and how to launch we need to create an instance template so let's do that first create instance template and as usual let's give it a name let's call it web server template and choose f1 micro leave the default um, Debian 1 okay so I'm gonna leave everything as default click on create creating instance template so once that's done uh, we should be able to create the instance group and configure the auto scaling group yeah all right so that's our template so uh, right from here we can create our instance group so I can select that uh, template and if I click this icon here, create instance group, it will take me directly to the instance creation page. And again, let's give it a name, web server instance group. If you want, you can give it a description. Uh, multiple zones, Europe West 2, that's fine. And I'm using the instance template. Okay, and now comes the auto scaling bit. Last time we choose uh, don't auto scale. So now this time we're going to choose the auto scale option. Uh, we're going to auto scale based on the CPU utilization metric and I'm going to choose and change the CPU utilization to 50%. You can set whatever you want. Basically, you might be setting this to like 75% or 80% of the CPU utilization. So this one is not a the CPU utilization from a single instance. It's the CPU utilization it's kind of an aggregate function that is uh, the CPU utilization for the as collectively for all your uh, instance. So let's set that to 50% CPU utilization. And I'm going to say minimum number of instance. Uh, I'm going to start with one instance. And if the CPU utilization goes above 50%, then I want to auto scale. Uh, but the maximum I can auto scale is four. I don't want to keep on uh, infinitely adding more nodes auto scaling uh, to this instance group. So I want to have a uh, limit on that. So I'm specifying the maximum number of instances that can be added to this instance group is four. That's good. And uh, I think that's all we need. Okay, let's click create. And once that's done, we should start with one instance in this instance group. If I go to VM instances, it's still creating the instance group. Let's give it a minute or two. I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, so we don't have any instance at the moment and it's trying to create one instance from zero to one. And uh, once the instance group is done, you will see the auto scaling configuration here. Let's go to the instance. Yep, so that's uh, ready and back to the instance group. Yep, and now you can see the auto scaling. It's on and it's based on the target CPU utilization, which is 50%. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are going to log into that VM instance. If I click on that one here and you can see this instance, the creation time is uh, 1845, 645 p.m and make a note of that so that's the creation time that's the first instance that got created in this instance group now we're going to log into this instance either you can ssh here or you can open up your cloud shell what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my terminal and i'm going to use gcloud to log into this instance and let's simulate a load on this uh, instance okay so that's my terminal if i do gcloud compute instances list we should be seeing one instance. Yeah, that's the one and I'm going to log into that instance. gcloud compute ssh minus minus zone is europe west to c. So that's the zone this instance is in web server ig 
L6F8. Okay. All right, so we are inside the virtual machine. Export term. Don't worry about this. I've got a beer terminal setting. And on the bottom pane here, I'm again going to uh, log into the same machine. IGL6F8. And again, export term equals X term. Cool. So now let's install a tool called uh, stress sudo apt install minus y stress and on the bottom pane I'm gonna do a watch command watch cat proc load average load average so at the moment uh, as you can see here it's not under heavy load but let's uh, do some stress uh, testing sudo stress minus minus CPU 2 so I'm going to spawn like two workers at the same time and then minus minus timeout to say 60 seconds. I want to do the stress testing. I want to run the stress command uh, for a minute and then uh, stop the command. So basically we are just stressing the machine for like 60 seconds. That's it. Okay, so that's done. And if you can see here, the load will gradually go up. So 0.21. 0.35 so it keeps growing and as it keeps growing up and back in here um, if I go back to the instance group and if I click refresh uh, it's still it's uh, sat with one instance and if I click refresh soon yeah so now it can you can see it's going from one to two instance because uh, of the load increase so that's auto scaling it has auto scaled from one to two instance if I click refresh Nope, it has gone from two to four again. So that's the maximum number of instances that it can auto scale. So we've specified that as four because it's trying to keep the uh, the CPU utilization under 50%, right? Um, so it, it will create as many instances um, up to the limit that you specified. So we've specified four instances um, and it will try to bring the collective CPU utilization down to 50%. So that's what we've actually set. The target CPU utilization, it will try to bring down the target CPU utilization to 50%. Okay, so back in here, the command ran successfully and you will see the uh, the load will start to go down 0.97. Yep, and it's starting to go down. And if I go into the instance group and look at the instances soon, uh, these instances will be available. Let's wait for that. VM instances, you will see the four instances here. If I refresh the page, yep, so we've got the four instance here. Let's go back to the instance group. So we've got four instance, and uh, since we've uh, brought down the, since the load is going down, the instance group will automatically scale the number of instances down to the minimum number of instance. So soon you will see that from four instance it will go down it will scale down to one instance so that might happen uh, it might it might take like 10 to 15 minutes during my testing it took about 15 minutes for the scaling down so even though none of the servers are loaded and the target utilization CPU utilization is well under 50% it takes a little bit of time to scale down to the minimum number of instances that you've specified so from four instance to down to one instance uh, you will see that happen in about 10 to 15 minutes. So if I click on that, it's still there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pause the video and uh, I'll keep an eye on it and I'll resume it when uh, something happens here. All right. It's still showing four instances. It's only been like two or three minutes. I think still we need to wait for another 10 minutes or so and let's go into the instance group and now you can see here uh, four instance and if you sort by the creation time so 1845 so that was the first instance we started with and then um, 1848 so these three uh, instances have, has got the same timestamp so which means those three are the new instances that got launched uh, during the auto scaling operation so <laughs> let's wait uh, and see which of these machines get uh, terminated during the auto scale down process okay so I'm going to 
keep an eye on it. I'm going to keep refreshing and see when it actually scales down to one instance back. OK, I'm going to pause the video again and come back later. All right. So uh, if you look at the instances now, it has uh, scaled down back to one instance. So it has deleted the three instance. And if I go to the instance group and look at the details, and if you look in here, if you remember, uh, this was the first instance that got created. You can look at from, you can look that from the name of the uh, uh, instance, which is L6F8. So that's the one we logged in here, and uh, it's all there's no load at the moment, and uh, yeah, so it has kept uh, the first instance that launched. I, I'm not sure whether it's a strict practice that uh, the auto scaling group follows or I I'm not sure what, on what basis it chooses the instance to scale down. But in our case, this was the instance that was first started and then it uh, scaled down. It deleted all the instances that it has uh, created later. OK, so that's auto scaling group, uh, auto scaling configuration in an instance group. Let's uh, tidy up. So instance group, let's delete our instance group that will delete the uh, instance as well. So instances, this instance will be gone when the instance group is deleted. And uh, we also need to delete the instance template. If you select the template, you won't be able to delete it. That's because it's not possible to delete templates which are in use by an instance group. Let's wait for the instance group to be deleted and then we should be able to delete the instance template all right so while it's getting deleted uh, when you're creating an instance group and when you're configuring an auto scaling policy it's not uh, just the cpu utilization you can also um, you can also uh, do auto scaling based on some custom metrics uh, so that depends on the stack driver uh, the, the the metrics that you are using and so on uh, so it's not just the CPU utilization, just bear that in mind. Uh, if I get some time, I will look at other metrics that we can use during the auto scaling. Uh, but for now, we are good. That's 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 all I wanted to show you in this video. Yeah, let's wait for the uh, instance group to get terminated. Do we still have instance? No, nope. instance is gone. Let's wait for the instance group to go away. And then finally, we can just delete the instance template. OK. All right. So the instance group is gone. Now we are good to delete our instance template. Instance template and delete. Yep. OK, so that's it. And uh, I hope you found this video useful. Please uh, let me know if you've got any questions. I'll be happy to help. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in my next video. Bye bye.